Checkpoints, Smart View Monitor. Let's begin. Our objective for you and I in this CBT Micro Nugget is simple. We're going to take a look at how Checkpoint Smart View Monitor can assist us in immediately dropping traffic that we don't want to go through our network. See, one of the things that Smart View Monitor can do is show us the traffic as it's coursing through our network. So we have traffic from the inside maybe going out to the internet. We have people on the internet maybe going up to a DMZ. And Smart View Monitor can give us amazing details about what's really happening on the firewall. And so let's say we're looking at this traffic and we identify that, oh my goodness, there's some malicious traffic that we don't want going through that firewall. How do we stop it? Well, the traditional method, and it's a good one, of implementing policy is that you and I would sit here at the console. Specifically, we'd run a program called Smart Dashboard on a Windows computer. We would modify policy that's sitting on a management server, and then that management server would push that policy out to the firewall, and then we can stop virtually anything that we want to. However, here's the challenge. If we see malicious traffic right now, when do we want to stop it? The answer is right now. So in addition to going back after the fact and maybe recreating some new policy to specifically deny certain types of traffic, we have this amazing feature inside Smart View Monitor to implement a block in real time. So what I'd like to demonstrate for you right now inside of Smart View Monitor is how to implement a block based on traffic that we want to stop. And then secondly, take a look at how we can view inside of Smart Monitor the existing blocks that are in place and how we can delete them if we think the threat is no longer in place. So here's the lay of the land for our topology. We're going to go ahead and launch some ping packets right here from this PC at 10.1.1.50. They'll go out through the firewall out to the internet to 8.8.8.8. We'll identify that traffic in Smart View Monitor. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll then go ahead and block that specific traffic. So inside Smart Dashboard, here's the rule that's allowing traffic to go out. So this says that any devices on the inside network going anywhere else, we're going to go ahead and allow that traffic through and we're going to log it. So let's bring up a command prompt and let's do a continuous ping out to 8.8.8.8. So let's go ahead and launch Smart View Monitor. One of the ways to launch Smart View Monitor is right here from Smart Dashboard. Select the drop down list for Smart Console and then simply choose Smart View Monitor. Or we could do a Control Shift M to bring it up as well. Here in Smart View Monitor, we have a whole bunch of predefined views that we can look at. And let's go ahead and take a look at top services. We shouldn't have too much to look at because it's a very small test network I've got set up. And right here, I've got echo request and echo replies. So that's my little stream of traffic generated by that continuous ping. Also in Smart View Monitor, we could also go ahead and say, I want to look at the top destinations. And so this is showing us our top destinations. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and arrange those. Fantastic. And our ping is still going strong. Now, there's a couple of different ways that we could implement a block. One way of doing it would be going up here to the launch menu and from this drop down list, Selecting Tools, from that drop-down, select Suspicious Activity Rules. Click on that, and this would allow us to see any current rules that are currently in place, or we could simply click on Add and add a new block right here. Another way of doing it would be right from one of these windows. So for example, here we have our top services. There's my echo request. We could right-click on that. From that drop-down menu, we could say Block Service. So here it's showing us ICMP as the service that's being used. And we could block it, for example, only to a specific destination address, such as 8.8.8.8. .8 or we could block it from a specific source address as well. And then we can specify how long we want that block to take place. In this case, I'm going to say it's the next 10 minutes. And then all we need to do is click on Enforce. I want you to take a look at this echo request over here that we're currently seeing. Now it's diminishing, and in just a moment, it will be gone because there is no more echo request being sent through it. ICMP is being denied to the destination of 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. If we take a look at our ping, sure enough, these are now timing out. If we did a control C here and ping to some other destination, like 8.8.4.4, .4, no problem with that one. But the 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 has a problem because we're blocking it. Now, we could just wait 10 minutes for that to be removed automatically by the system, or we could go back and manually remove it. To do that, we go back up here on the top left to the Launch menu, go down to Tools, over to Suspicious Activity Rules, ask it to show us on all the gateways, or we could go ahead and say, I want to show on and simply select the specific firewall where we want to see those Suspicious Activity Rules. And here it shows the details of the rule. And if we wanted to go ahead and remove it, we could simply click on Remove, confirm that, and that rule is now removed. If we go back to that command prompt, 
Our ping is now happy, happy again, because there's no suspicious activity rule that's immediately denying that traffic. And that, my friends, is how you can implement a suspicious activity rule inside of Checkpoint's Smart View Monitor. I've had a blast. I'm glad you've joined me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.